do away with the one. This game is Afterburner 2 for the Sega Saturn. The 1987 Sega arcade classic from designer Yu Suzuki explodes off the Saturn with arcade quality sound and visuals, but does it have arcade quality controls? This is faster than the Sega Genesis version of Afterburner 2 that I'm used to, the one I grew up with. And while this looks and sounds amazing, it's a bit awkward to play with the Saturn D-pad. And admittedly, I'm not very good at Afterburner 2, really never have been. I, I have the same problem with Super Thunder Blade. I know there's some pattern to fly around at the screen and avoid all of the missiles, I just don't really know what it is. But that doesn't stop me from having fun playing these games periodically because uh, they're kind of like outrun with jets, but not really. I mean, in a sense, you're, you're being scored for how far you travel, how long you stay alive. So you can play the game one of two ways. You can either try to shoot down everything and get additional points and maybe stop a few of the missiles before they get to you. Or you can just fly like a maniac all over the screen, dodging everything, where eventually your luck will run out and you'll crash and burn anyway. But as this is based on the arcade machine from Sega, the game is meant to kick you off the machine quickly so you keep putting quarters into it. It's a tough game, and this version of Afterburner is far more difficult than the Sega Genesis release. But not to knock the Genesis version, it's really good. This one just happens to be more true to the arcade machine. Remember that awesome jet fighter cockpit arcade machine for Afterburner? That's, that's the way you really want to play this game, with a flight stick. There's numerous versions of Afterburner 2 out there, everything from the Atari ST to the PC Engine, the Mega Drive slash Genesis. Even the PlayStation 2 got one, and this version on the Saturn is silky smooth and looks and sounds great, but it's not nearly as affordable or easy to find as you might think. I have to thank Jose from New Mexico for donating this copy of Afterburner 2 to Classic Game Room. Thank you. But this is a, um, how should I put this? This is an unofficial version. In doing a bit of research, I found a number of copies of Afterburner 2 on eBay, but they're all the Japanese version. Which leads me to believe that this either did not receive a North American release, or if it did, it's pretty rare. I could be wrong about that, but the game will cost you a couple bucks. It's not unattainable though, it's not like in the Radiant Silver Gun range or anything. For the actual game with CD case and packaging, it is far more affordable to find the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive release though. I have no idea if this was released in Europe. As you can see, the game runs very smoothly, and the Saturn handles Afterburner 2 with ease. It's just very touchy with the D-pad when the game's playing this quickly. The Genesis version is a bit slower, and because of that it doesn't feel quite so touchy, but it's still a tough game. Afterburner 2 is meant to be a hard game. This version has multiple difficulty settings, you can increase your player stock, which I've done here. And it saves your high scores, which is cool, so you can come back and challenge yourself. You can adjust your plane speed, and if you don't have the arcade machine with the flight stick, and you think this looks awesome, it may be a version of Afterburner that you want to check out. And don't forget about the newer Afterburner release for the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It's nowhere near as difficult as this, far more forgiving. But it looks great, it's a lot of fun, and the controls are a lot better than this, actually. Yeah, I always forget how good the music is in this game, and it's nice to hear it with this kind of fidelity. Afterburner 2 on the Sega Saturn. Thanks again to Jose from New Mexico. 
And while this may be an unofficial version, this is being played on the Sega Saturn. This is the video output from the Sega Saturn. If you buy this for the Saturn, this is what you get. Afterburner 2.